Hey guys, this is Packet Tracer number four. It's uh, 4.1.3.5, and it's going to be implementing an IP addressing scheme. And I went ahead and got started. And so what they wanted me to do is take the two ports connecting to these uh, two networks. They needed the first network to uh, be able to hold 50 hosts the second network to be able to hold 40 hosts. So they wanted me to uh, subnet and as you can see here I created a subnet of uh, 255, 255, 255.192 which borrows two bits for the subnetting and leaves six bits for the host IP addresses. Okay, so um, the starting IP address for this particular network was 192.168.1.1 and it will offer 62 IP addresses and it will, th it will make available 60 IP addresses because we'll use the 1.0 for the network IP address and then one dot 61 for the broadcast uh, IP address so the address on this interface will be 1.1 .1. okay so then um, oh let me go back in there and for the second one I started at uh, the next s set of IP addresses will start from 192.168.1.62 and so I gave this an IP address of 65 but I'm actually going to give it an IP address of 63 is what I intended on so I'm going to fix that see if that works oh, doesn't like that actually it's 64 so yeah it is 192 oops dot one sixty eight dot one dot sixty five so I was right actually so it's sixty four IP addresses okay and it it automatically assigned it to 192 so we're all set there now I need to go into these hosts and configure an IP address and I don't know why the configuration tab would be locked on those because it asked me to go in and configure them so let's take a look maybe I need to go to the desktop IP configuration we'll use a static IP address and for this one we'll do 192.168.1.2 and we'll give it a subnet mask of 192 and a default gateway of uh, 192.168.1.1 okay for now I'm going to leave the DNS server alone so let's go down to this one and do the IP configuration we'll give this 192.168.1.66 and last octet will be 192 and the default gateway will be 192.168.1.65 okay so, okay, so uh, I took a little break there and I'm back and I checked the assignment. And what they want me to do is actually give these the IP address of the last available uh, IP address on that particular network. So, since this is the first network, it would end in dot 61. So I'm going to give it a dot sixty address because sixty one will be our 
broadcast channel and then I'm gonna go to this one and go back and we're gonna give this one an address of let me see uh, 62 and 20 128 so 126 let's try that and see how that works and I'm gonna check the results and st oh, I got one of them right so let me see the last valid host and this is on host A so it wants the correct IP address is the last valid host address in the let's see what that says in the subnet. Okay, so let's see what see if we can fix that. Sixty one. Well, let's try one sixty one just for the heck of it. See if that one works. I don't think that's going to work, but. Let's try it one more time. And still having a problem with that. Oh wait, it's 64, so 63. Uh, let's make it 62. I don't know why I keep doing that. Let's make it 60. 62. And check the results. And the activity is complete. So I was able to subnet two networks, accommodating 50 hosts and 40 hosts. There are two remaining subnets that we can use. And um, so there you go. There's packet tracer number four down. So we'll see you guys on the next packet tracer.